Counting today, there's only 14 days left, and I'm going to reach the ripe age of 39. Yeah. I was around when there was only 13 channels, and one of them was UHF, and you turned a little dial. I was around before HBO. I was around back when there was a video game called Pong, and it was this little thing you hooked into the TV, and you had to sit there both to this little square brown box and go doot 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 doot. There was two things to turn. You didn't have your own controller. I was around when Pitfall on the Atari 2600 was considered innovative and crazy. Yars Revenge? Man. I was around before HBO, I know I said that, but it was called Hollywood Home Theater. You got this little silver box that got connected to your cable line, and you got Hollywood Home Theater. 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 It was amazing. But to me, you know, I mean, I remember when I was 15, I thought, man, I wonder what I'm going to be like in 15 years when I'm 30. And here I am being 39. I'm a little older. I, I have two sons, but, you know, I thought I was going to be like one of the older people when I walked my kid to kindergarten, you know, because I just thought that I was an older parent. He's going to graduate in, like, 2022. I'm going to be, like, 52 years old, man. My mom wasn't that old. My mom had me when she was 27, and we had Hayden when I was 33. I mean, it's a little bit of a difference, you know, but it's just crazy. It just doesn't seem like... I feel like a kid still. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm an adult in the sense of having responsibility. I don't cut up that much when I go out in public, you know, and I try to keep it real, you know what I mean? But I don't also change who I am, and this is who I am. I used to always think that when I was a kid, people would reach a certain age, and you like have to start wearing business suits and stuff and start to be all stuffy and proper and life would just have to change because that's what society sees you know you have to be this way but in this day and age it's crazy like when I was a kid and people played music and stuff on TV because I remember when MTV first started sorry you know I was 14 years old but uh it's like band members and stuff like that those guys were like in their 30s and 40s and nowadays it's kids because people want to get on them and leech all they can out of them for the long period of time, for the long haul. So now so many kids are talented and they're allowed to get away with do things. And sorry if you see my gum. I apologize for that. I'm chewing it because it tastes good. But uh, it's just crazy, man. You know, I mean, the way things change. And like I said, I thought that I would have to be older and stuffy. But I'm not. I'm who I am. And my kids appreciate me. And I'm not that embarrassing when we go out in public. You know, my wife likes me. You know, right? You like me, right? But I don't know where I'm going with this. So I guess it's just the countdown of me reaching the last year of my 30s, man. You know, like, um, so many people, you know, they get scared when they hit 30. Well, I'm going to hit 40 in, like, a year and 14 days, you know? So we'll see what's up with that. We'll see what that's like. But for now, this digital soul saying you're never too old. Don't let society turn you into somebody that you don't want to be, you know? I'm not saying go out and get crazy and not be responsible, but at the same time, be yourself. I guess that's what the whole point of this video is. Be who you want to be. As long as it's in good taste and you're not hurting nobody, other people shouldn't care. And if they do, they really need to get a life for themselves if they're so caught up in you that they need to spend their personal time on you, that you've become a hobby for them. All right, see you next time. Video game stuff. Peace. Psh.